Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers, Kieran here. Put your hands up if you use one of these. That is a running watch with optical heart rate built in. Keep your hand up if you're thinking about getting a little bit more serious about your heart rate zone stats and you're considering investing in a chest strap, an ECG chest strap for a bit of added accuracy, or you wanted to get better stats, more versatility, and you're thinking an arm strap. If that's you, in this video, we're gonna tell you what the best chest straps and arm straps are on the market right now. We'll fill you in with all their special features, all their battery lives, all the specs, and we've tested them for comfort, accuracy, and everything else. So in this video, you are gonna come out of this knowing which one you should be buying if you wanna get a little bit more accuracy or comfort out of your heart rate zone training. So onto Polar's gold standard chest strap, the H10. When it comes to accuracy and reliability, it doesn't really get much better than this. And for that reason, it's one of the favorites among the run testers for benchmarking heart rate accuracy when we do our watch test. The H10 weighs 50 grams, the same as the H9, and it's up there with the lightest straps that you can buy. It's got a nice soft strap with a decent amount of flex for sitting comfortably against the skin. It moves with your body, so that's really nice. It also has some silicon studs that are designed to help it stay in place around the back section to give it a little bit more grip. The other design difference from the H9 is that you get this nice simple clasp, it's easier than a hook to put on. The pod is as small and slim as you'll find and you get 400 hours training on a single coin-op battery. You can connect simultaneously to Bluetooth and Ant Plus devices with two simultaneous Bluetooth connections, that's one more than the H9. And we had no issues with connectivity, pairing it with various watches from all brands including Polar, Garmin and Coros as well as iPhone apps like Polar Beat. There's onboard storage for one workout and like the Polar H9 it's water waterproof to 30 meters though again the accuracy in the water is definitely not guaranteed. So if you're looking for the gold standard of chest straps with top level accuracy, comfort and a few more features thrown in then the H10 is definitely worth a look. A kind of no frills heart rate chest strap, the H9 is all about doing the basics but for a friendlier price. Unlike the H10 which uses a new pro strap to promise a more comfortable fit, the H9 uses the same strap as the Polar H7. One of the main differences there is that you get a hook clip rather than a clasp like you do on the H10, but run tester Michael found it perfectly fine comfort wise up against the H10, found it stayed put well and was pretty adequate on runs that he tested it on. Now you can have simultaneous Ant Plus and Bluetooth connections with the H9, but not simultaneous Bluetooth connections. That's one of the other major differences between that and the H10. You get 400 hours of runtime on a single coin-op battery. The whole thing weighs around 50 grams and that's the same as the H10. It's waterproof to 30 meters, though accuracy in the water isn't guaranteed. When it came to connectivity, we had absolutely no issues. We used it with two different Garmin watches, a Polar and a Sunto watch. It paired fine and connectivity stayed in as we were running, so no problems with that. When it came to accuracy across a range of different runs from slow and steady to those intervals and hills that really show up a heart rate's capabilities, we found it just as reliable as the H10 and the H7 and it was up there with the Garmin HRM run monitors too. So all round the H9 actually, if you're looking for something that's a bit more budget friendly, is a really solid option for a chest strap. So the brand new Ticker X has been upgraded for 2020 and at 48 grams it's actually the lightest chest strap you can buy. But we're talking grams here and it's not really that noticeable on the run. You get a soft strap with a front clip that's actually much easier to put on than any of the other chest straps we've tested. But that plastic of the integrated pod does sit right on your skin and it's actually just it's marginally less comfortable than the Polar H10. You can have simultaneous Bluetooth and Ant Plus connections including three Bluetooth connections at once and that means you can pair to multiple devices including watches, your phone and any gym equipment etc. What makes the Ticker X really different though is its built-in motion sensor. There's an accelerometer in there that provides extra running dynamics. And those running dynamics can be broadcast to compatible smartwatches via Ant Plus. So that's Garmin, Coros and Sunto, but notably you can't share those running form metrics with Polar. That motion sensor also powers indoor mode for treadmill runs, should you like to run inside. And if you use the Wahoo Fitness app, you also get a running smoothness score. It's a sort of reading of your overall form efficiency from every single run. When it comes to accuracy, the Ticker X performed really well in our tests it reliably picked up small bursts of increased effort and we didn't get any of the rogue spikes that you can do with some optical heart rate monitors. The Ticker X also stores up to 50 hours of workout data and you get 500 hours of runtime on a single coin-op battery. It's only IPX7 rated so that means basically sweat and rainproof and the strap can be hand washed but you won't be swimming with this one. 
also updated for 2020 as Wahoo's cheapest heart rate option. And interesting, the ticker carries many of the same specs as the Ticker X. You get the same design, you get those same LED lights to help you see when you've got good connectivity. It weighs the same at 48 grams. There's the same 500 hour battery life on a single coin op battery. It has IPX7 rating for water resistance, so basically sweat proof and rain proof, the same as the Ticker X. And you get the same connectivity settings. But what you don't get is any of the running form metrics or the built-in workout storage. We found it connected really easily to all of the watches that we used, and we found it actually as accurate as the Polar H9 and the H10 in the test that we did. In terms of comfort on the run, this looks exactly the same as the Ticker X. You've got that attachment sensor as the buckle itself. If you wear it too tight, that means it can pop open, so you need to wear it a little bit looser, but that's fine. Having the attachment being the sensor at the front also means it's easier to take on and off. And even though you've got that plastic on skin, Run tester Nick found it was really comfortable even on very sweaty runs. So the Wahoo ticker comes in cheaper than the Polar H9 and we'd argue that it's probably just as good. So if you're really on a budget, then this one is a really good option to look at for just under 40 pounds in the UK and just under $50 in the US. So next up, we've got the Garmin HRM Run. This is Garmin's top-end heart rate chest strap and it's all about adding extra running metrics on top of your heart rate tracking that you're getting from the strap. Like the Wahoo Ticker X, you're getting a lot of running form metrics here, including cadence, vertical oscillation, and ground contact time, but you also get ground contact time balance, stride length, and vertical ratio. And with some compatible Garmin watches, you can also get running power. And that includes the Phoenix 5, Phoenix 6, Forerunner 645, 935, and 945, and there may well be others, so it's smart to check the list before you buy. These stats can also be broadcast to other Ant Plus devices, and it's definitely a good way to beef up the insights provided by your Garmin running watch if you're already a Garmin owner. The HRM Run is the second heaviest strap on this list at 59 grams and there's no built-in storage for workouts so you can't train with it without pairing to another device. You get 365 hours of runtime on a single battery which is a little lower than some of the others on this list. It's waterproof to 50 meters though again accuracy in the water won't be guaranteed. Garmin's cheaper chest strap option is the HRM Dual. And this packs three times the run time on a single battery than the HRM Run, with more than a thousand hours clocked on a single coin op battery. It's also lighter at 54.4 grams. It allows for unlimited amp plus connections and you get two simultaneous Bluetooth connections. There's no internal memory for storing workouts, so no using it on its own and syncing later. And you don't get any of the lovely running form metrics that you'll find on the run either. When it came to accuracy, the Dual performed adequately. It was up there with the other chest straps at this price point we found it to be nicely responsive there weren't too many spikes and we found it to be a really kind of reliable contender it's water resistance to 10 meters and one thing we really loved about the joy is that the strap is washable so you can avoid any nasty stinks Our final option from the chest straps is the MyZone MZ3. Now this is a bit different from the other trackers on our list. Yes, it's a chest strap, but it actually plugs into MyZone's own universe where you turn your effort into points and you can compete with others based on how hard you're working rather than how good you are, which is kind of handy if you like a bit of competition. But beyond that, it'll also just operate as a normal running chest strap. Design-wise, it's not our favorite. At 60 grams, it's the heaviest. The pod is noticeably larger than the others on this list and protrudes over the strap and that can cause a little bit of rubbing. The strap edges around the the sensor areas are also stiffer than other straps too and on some longer runs we found that they had a tendency to rub or even cut. It's also got a hook clip rather than a clasp but that's like the H9 rather than the H10 though that strap is also washable which is another benefit like the Garmin HRM Dual. You get 112 hours of runtime on the battery but it's the only chest strap that we found where the battery is actually rechargeable so that's kind of nice and handy if you don't want to fiddle with those coin battery replacements. You can have simultaneous amp plus and bluetooth connections and you can train independently and store up to 16 hours of workouts on the pod. It's also water resistant to 10 meters. But the other thing that really puts the MyZone in a bracket of its own is that price tag, $129.99. You're definitely paying for that added social competition element that comes with the MyZone. So unless you're really into running and then comparing yourselves on the internet against other people, friends, family, and the wider universe of runners out there, we definitely recommend looking elsewhere for a chest strap just for heart rate zone training and smarts. Now, if the chest strap isn't your thing, and we know a lot of people have problems with chest straps from comfort, you know, over long runs, um, there are alternatives. Another way to look might be going for an arm strap. Now these carry optical sensors, just like your watch, but they can be worn in various different places. You can wear them on the forearm, you can wear them on the biceps. Some of them can even be moved to the temple, attached to your goggles to read your heart rate whilst you're swimming. So there's a good range of versatility there. They're also pretty lightweight, 
Most of them offer some kind of built-in storage for workouts and can be used independent from your phone or other devices. So there's a lot of benefits to moving to an arm strap. In some cases, they even offer more or improved accuracy over a watch and the optical heart rate built into a watch. So if an arm strap sounds like a thing for you, here's our top three picks. So when it comes to the arm strap heart rate monitors, the Polar OH1 is the smallest you can get. It's just 17 grams and you get this tiny little lozenge shape with a slightly thinner strap. What that actually means though is that it sits a little bit less comfortably on the arm. It's perfectly fine, but it can just cut in a little bit more than the others on this list if you're not careful about how you wear it. It's simple to pair and operate with a single button control and one flashing light that shows you when you've got a connection and when you've started a workout, though you don't get any heart rate zone indicator lights like you will on the Scotch Rhythm 24 that we're gonna look at in a second. You can do phone and watch free run recording with up to 200 hours of run storage on the OH1. It pairs with most watches, including Garmin, Coros, Polar, and you can have simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus pairings. Connectivity was really reliable in our tests, and also in our running up against the H10 chest strap, the OH1 came the closest of all the arm straps, matching it pretty much beat for beat with the odd small spike or bit of lag. But accuracy wise, it was really solid, clocking the max and averages within a beat of the H10 and the Wahoo Ticker X. You get 12 hours of runtime on a single charge and it comes with a little dock that lets you charge it in any USB port. It's also water resistant to 30 meters and you can track heart rate from the temple by attaching it to your goggle straps, just in case you're a runner who also likes to swim. From the smallest to the chunkiest of the arm straps we've got here in our pick of the three, the Rhythm 24 weighs in at 30 grams. It's actually got a wider strap and that really makes it more comfortable to wear with a bit less cutting in than you'll find on the Polar OH1. It packs an impressive 24 hours of runtime with 13 hours of built-in workout storage so you can run phone free if you wish and then sync to a very limited partner app later. So that Scotch Rhythm app doesn't really do much more than let you customize your heart rate zones and so the Rhythm 24 is really designed to be used with third-party services. It has support for simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus connections and it pairs easily with most watches, apps and devices. And that connectivity in our test was also great, no problems there. What makes the Scotch stand out really are the coloured lights on the front and these show you which heart rate zone you're training in. It's a really handy thing to be able to look down and see a blue, green, red to indicate what you're running in if you're just using an arm strap on its own. Those lights also show when that built-in memory is getting full of all your running efforts so you know when to sync. In terms of accuracy, in our test the Scotch matched a Polar H10 chest strap to a really good level but it did have a tendency to read a top heart rate spike a little higher so the max heart rates on our different types of runs were always slightly higher than the others. Beyond that, you get 24 hours of runtime on a single charge and it's IP68 rated so you can swim with it. Now, last but not least is the Wahoo Ticker Fit. And this is probably our favorite when it comes to comfort. The 20 gram Ticker Fit, it's smaller than the Scosche but the strap is a little wider than the OH1, and so it sits a little nicer on the arm than both of those. It packs the biggest battery life too with 30 hours on a single charge. Like the others, it has support for simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus connections, and it pairs easily with most watches, apps, and devices, and that includes Wahoo's own basic workout app. It has a handy pairing indicator light on the front to let you know when you've got a good connection. For accuracy against the H10 chest strap, the ticker fit was relatively solid. We had just a little high on the maximum heart rate readings, and it was a little more jumpy mid-run, but we're talking very, very slightly here. It wasn't quite as precise as the OH1, but marginally better than the Scotch Rhythm 24 Plus. For water resistance and durability, it's IPX7 rated, so we're talking sweat and a bit of rain, but no swimming with this one either. So there you have it, that's our wrap up of the best heart rate monitors you can buy for chest and for arm. And just to make things a little bit easier, we've actually whittled them down and put a few best fours. So if you're looking for particular things, this might help you. Now, if you're after something to wear with your, to pair with your Garmin watch to add some extra running dynamics, the Garmin HRM run is gonna be the strap for you. If you're after overall accuracy and features, the full package with that kind of gold standard, then we would recommend the Polar H10. For connectivity, it's really hard to beat the Wahoo Ticker X because you've got three sets of Bluetooth pairing plus unlimited Ant plus pairing. So if you need to connect up a lot of devices, Swift, other monitors, externals, all those kind of things, then the Wahoo Ticker X is probably a good one to look at. And then if you're on a real budget, it's gotta be the Wahoo Ticker for us. Nice and cheap, under 40 pounds, lots of capability, and that is the best budget level entry chest strap you can get right now. So, and if you're after an arm strap, then our recommendation would be the Polar OH1. It's not quite as comfortable as the Wahoo Ticker Fit, or in fact, the Scotch Rhythm 24 but it is up there in terms of accuracy against the chest strap. It has got nice simple controls 
and it's got a decent battery life and some built-in storage that are really, really useful. So that always up is our best arm strap. So thanks for listening. We've been the Run Testers. If you have anything to ask us about, chest straps, arm straps, heart rate monitors, hit us in the comments below and we will be on hand to answer your specific questions. Also, if you've liked what you've seen, hit subscribe, like this, comment, ring the bell, make sure you do all of those things so you get other updates coming from the Run Testers soon. Thanks very much and we will see you again.